Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Last Monday saw the release of a brand new coin. It's a five pound coin commemorating the 40th birthday of Prince William, who is second in line to the British throne after his father, Prince Charles. The coin features his portrait with his age to the left and his royal cipher to the right. The designer of the coin was Thomas Doherty, the same designer that created the Frankenstein £2 coin back in 2018 and has worked at the Royal Mint for 17 years. He approached the design with a more stylized and dynamic concept, wanting it to almost look like a sculpture rather than a generic portrait. The coin has come out in brilliant uncirculating standard with no upper limit on the maximum mintage. It's also come out in silver proof of which there are three and a half thousand of them and silver proof PA foot of which there are 1500. For those of you that like your gold, there were 500 quarter ounce gold proofs. There was another 100 two ounce gold proofs and a further 100 quarter ounce gold proofs that were released in a set containing a 1982 gold sovereign as well, the year of Prince William's birth. Sadly, we don't all get to feature on a coin on our birthdays, although I think a future king is a bit of an exception. But it's not the first time he's appeared on coin, so let's take a look at some others. Here we have a silver-proof £5 coin, which marks the wedding of then Prince William and Catherine Middleton, now the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The coin itself was designed by Mark Richards, who had a successful 2011 with not just this design, but also the £5 coin to mark the 90th birthday of Prince Philip. He went on to design other £5 coins, including the 2014 Queen Anne commemorative and 2015's Winston Churchill. The design on this coin though features the happy couple looking at each other with their names above and the date of their wedding below. And it makes me feel old realizing that was 11 years ago. It came out in a number of standards and there were 50,000 of these silver proofs. This coin was the first issued to feature Prince William specifically, so he now has two coins to his name. But strangely, his son, Prince George, already has five designs. This was the first coin to honor Prince George and was issued in 2013 to mark the occasion of his birth. The design should be familiar to coin collectors as it is Benedetto Pistrucci's George Slaying the Dragon, which has been seen on sovereigns since 1817. Although not every year and not just the sovereign, this design has certainly become one of the most iconic images within UK numismatics. Of the silver proof version, there were 10,000 minted with 7,500 for this presentation and the rest would have gone into different coin sets. It wouldn't be long until the new prince and third in line to the throne would feature on more commemorative coins though. Here we have another 2013 release to mark Prince George's christening. So less than a year old and he's already ahead of his father in quantity of UK commemorative coins. This coin is a silver proof five pound coin and features an ornate design stating to celebrate the christening of Prince George of Cambridge 2013. The design features elements of the lily font used at baptisms of members of the British royal family, which is kept at the Tower of London. To the bottom of the design, you can see wording which translates as God and my right, which is the royal motto. The design was created by John Bergdahl, one of the more prolific coin designers at the Mint in modern times, having created many coins with a speciality towards history, for example, the Battle of Hastings 50p, Magna Carta £2 coin, and a number of the World War I £5 collection, which we've had a look at in depth in previous videos. Of this silver proof, there were 12,500 minted, with the lion's share 12,350 for this individual presentation. The very next year, this coin came out to mark the first birthday of Prince George. The silver proof £5 coin may look familiar as it was first designed for the 1953 coronation of Queen Elizabeth II by painter Edgar Fuller and modelled by Cecil Thomas. The design was also reused in 1960 to celebrate the British exhibition. It features the four quartering of the royal coat of arms with the three lions representing England, the rampant lion of Scotland and the harp of Ireland. Between each of the royal arms are the national flowers of each of the four constituent parts of the UK. We have the Thistle of Scotland, Rose of England, Shamrock of Ireland, and finally the Leek of Wales. Wales itself does not feature on the Royal Arms individually due to it being seen as an integral part of the Kingdom of England at the time of the Act of Union. So I think it's great for a bit of Welsh representation on this coin. The use of the four national flowers is also replicated in the designer's creation for the sixpence and the two shilling coin, which they collaborated on for the new coinage of Queen Elizabeth II. Of this silver proof, there were a total of seven and a half thousand minted. We roll on a few years to 2018 for Prince George's final coin so far. We did miss out a coin marking his second birthday as I couldn't get my hands on one, but this is a rather similar design. 
The design itself is a modern interpretation of Benedetto Pastrucci's George Slaying the Dragon and was created by notable designer Jody Clark, a name that should be familiar to coin collectors for it was he behind the design of the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on currently issued coins. He also created the highly popular Queen's Beast collection and many other coins. He wanted the design to feel as if the viewer was in the action rather than looking at it from afar, capturing the movement of the battle. There were 9,600 of these silver-proof £5 coins minted, and 7,000 for this presentation. Well, that's the coins of Prince George, but what about his other siblings? I've got a couple of coins next for you, commemorating Princess Charlotte. This silver-proof £5 coin was issued in 2015, and marks the birth of Princess Charlotte. The design is very similar to that of the christening of Prince George, and unsurprisingly is the work of the same designer, John Bergdahl. The wording around the coin states to celebrate the birth of the second child of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge 2015. The centre of the design is a block cartouche, or a tablet to me and you, topped with a coronet which is a crown worn by lower ranks of nobility. The design is again inspired by the lily font. To mark her christening, John Bergdahl returned with another similar design which I couldn't get my hands on for this video, but I do have a really interesting coin next though. This is a 2015 Strike on the Day Sovereign. This has become a more common trend with the Royal Mint, issuing sovereigns that have been minted on the day or the anniversary of a special event. For example, a royal birth or a royal birthday of significance. More recent Strike on the Day sovereigns, such as that as Brexit, Victory in Europe and Victory in Japan Day, or the 200th birthday of Queen Victoria and separately Prince Albert, have had individual mint marks or ciphers to tell the difference between a standard sovereign and a special Strike on the Day one. There were only 750 of these sovereigns minted on the day of Princess Charlotte's birth, which is quite a low number, and it's seemingly something the Royal Mint are doing more and more of. The sovereign is one of the most iconic coins in the world, having stood the test of time and investors trusting in this prestigious coin. We have our own offering of best value sovereigns with our smallest margin over spot value for those looking to invest in this historic coin, with links in the description if you'd like to know more about that. For the completionist sovereign collector, the Strike on the Day variant offers a fascinating range to collect and it's interesting to see what events will make it into this series in the future. That's the eldest of Prince William's three children, but what about the youngest, Prince Louis? To mark the birth of the third child of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Royal Mint issued a silver-proof penny in 2018. I know, a bit mean given that his older brother and sister both got £5 coins, but that's how the line of succession works though. Pennies minced in 2018 would usually have part of the royal arms, having changed the definitive design in 2008. To mark this occasion though, we return to the older design by Christopher Ironside to feature on this coin. I must confess though, this particular coin itself isn't the Prince Louis birthday penny sadly. Not being in stock, I wasn't able to include it, but I wanted to include a coin for him so he didn't feel left out, so I found this silver penny with the correct design. There were 15,000 of these pennies minted for collectors. Well there we go, the coins of Prince William and that of his children is a fascinating look at some really cool coins. It's going to be interesting to see when his family turns up on coins again in the future. And let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this new release? Are you going to get it? As I've stated, there are links in the description to our products offering related to the coins in this video if you'd like to take a closer look yourself. Be sure as well to subscribe to our channel, it's free to do, it means you won't miss any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of images of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok, we've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.